Good morning. It's time for coffee. Oh, Mia put her pants back on. Well, can't be naked forever. We don't know what we're doing yet, but breakfast. New York City will tell us what we're doing. New York always tells us what we're doing. We walk, New York does. Our hotel has several options for breakfast. Walk, walk. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah. Again when it stops. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is weird. Getting dizzy in the elevator. We decided to try Friedman's, which kind of reminds me of a Disney breakfast somehow. Food came out really fast, very good French toast. Mia and I each got our own thing and then we shared it. I found a speakeasy, but Mia's not hungry yet. She can't eat like she used to. Oh, I don't know. This hallway was the filming location for The Godfather. Oh, then here's this place. This was another option for breakfast. I don't know how you choose. All the food here looks good. Not bad looking in here either. Here we go. Let's figure out what we're doing today. All right, I don't think we can go through Times Square and not go to Tomashi Nations, right? That'd be pretty crazy. Is this a Megazord, man? <laughs> what Megazord is this? 17. 17? Uh -huh. That's a good Megazord. Jerry would like that one. <laughs> there actually isn't any Super Sentai stuff here, but plenty of other good things. I don't think I realized so much Sailor Moon stuff existed. And look at all the good Ultraman figures. I'm glad I'm not collecting these, because there are a lot of them. And those monsters are pretty tempting, too. All right, so Times Square is behind us. We just walked down the street, and like, it, it's... Less crazy. I mean, if you like crazy, you know, it's just that's where everyone goes. So if you like it, it's a lot of energy. Everyone goes to Times Square and then they complain about it. It's like there's a lot more to see than Times Square. Just a short walk up 43rd Street, and you can already see it's less touristy. This line is for something called Record Store Day. Never heard of it. Here's NBC. They're having some event with live music in Rockefeller Center. Sadly, F.A.O. Schwartz closed their larger store that was across from the Plaza Hotel, but they did reopen a smaller store in what used to be the NBC Studio Store. Here's the big giant piano. They still have the piano. Did you need that? It's Vampire McNugget. Blah. Blah. <laughs> you need Vampire McNugget. Oh, yeah. He's very cute. <laughs> oh, me. She knows she needs Vampire McNugget. That's very cute. Let me take a picture. Give it a hug, hold on. It's a really good dress. Mia likes it. Mia thinks she needs that. Where's it gonna go? Very huggable. Like, Barbie's not necessarily my thing, but I mean, that, that is an awesome diorama. Although, look at this doll. I think I need that. I'd probably just end up losing all the clothes, though. Yes? Do you need that? Mia? You some help. Mia? Why don't our stairs have rainbow lights? I've always felt like there was something kind of magical or almost dreamlike about basements in some of these old New York buildings. I think they're fun to explore and it kind of takes me back to where I'm not sure, but it, it feels like back in the day. Oh, cookies. I'm actually just noticing the Back to the Future hoverboard. What a cool place. They have a dining room. I've never been here, but it feels like a place that I could have eaten at with my parents in like 1984. It has that look in a good way. I would come here. There's just nothing but food here. Food, 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 food. Look at this thing. What am I seeing here? How is it doing that? I am not understanding this. Absolutely gorgeous day. Just gonna come in here and inhale the smell. It's that really good coffee smell. Love these basement New York restaurants. We're allowed to be down this hallway, right? I don't know. We're, we're exploring. This is seeming like more and more like a elevator pit. Maybe this is not for us. And it's going up. Perfect. Some of you guys might recognize this location from Home Alone 2. And I just stumbled on a location from my own photo album from the early 1980s. That's me in the stroller with my mom. 
I'm bigger now. So this was taken in front of Bergdorf's. Now I kind of want to see what's actually in here. Let's go explore. Oh man, you look banging in that dress. The unsuspecting eye, it looks like Mia's shopping. Really, she's just looking at all the price tags. It's <laughs> jean jacket. <laughs> For $4,000. It's very soft, it's made in Italy. Oh, did you want it, Mia? You'll think about it. You like that? You, you could rock that. Okay, how much, 8,000? I think it's 8,000. Yes. 3,000. 45. Four. It's 35 dollars 35 yeah. <laughs> like, I want to know this, when, when you have an occasion to wear. This feels like a. Sport. It could be a like a Power Ranger costume, right? Yeah. For one of the villainesses. Yeah. <laughs> Still more. I just want to know how many floors there are here. Here, you wanted to go to the Mama. I've got the next best thing. Here. This floor definitely got more interesting. Wow, oh, that smell, this is an experience. Oh, I like how they set up the little tables. She asked me if I had any questions when we were smelling the candles. I said no, but one question. How can a candle cost $400? What is in that candle? Magic. Magic. I think we're on the seventh floor. <laughs> it is, it does smell like new carpet. Oh no. <laughs> They better keep their expensive carpet smelling candles away from Mia. She loves new carpet smell. I'll never forget that time she came to visit me in New Jersey when we were in college and she stuck her head into that carpet place and inhaled the carpet smell. Everyone was looking at us. It was pretty cute though. But seriously, we can't afford $400 candles. <laughs> He's going down the line. Was that experience, Mia? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> a scene has been made by my girl. <laughs> oh, hopefully this lady didn't think I was waving at her. I was waving at myself. They've got an aquarium in the basement. I know this fish. Look, hi. He remembers. Look, look, look. He remembers me. Hi. Never hi. seen anything like this. When I was a kid, I used to drench myself in cologne when we go to the mall. Oh, my parents did not appreciate the drive home. <laughs> I have officially sniffed too many things. <laughs> Falling. Getting the sneezes. All right, I guess we should show ourselves out before someone else does. Here's another Home Alone 2 filming location, the Plaza Hotel. Howdy do, this is Team Bruno. I'd like an extra large bed, a TV, and one of those little refrigerators you have to open with a key. Credit card? You got it. Mia yeah, melted. All right, I think it might be time for food for us. Pizza sounds good. It's just like everywhere you look in New York. Oh, I want to touch that. I was gonna say, this was Mars 2112. I think it was actually on the other side to my right, but they've since paved over it. In the late 90s and early 2000s, this was a really cool space-themed restaurant that I always used to like going into. The restaurant had a few levels and they had a spaceship simulator that took you to your table downstairs. There was also a bar and an arcade. They even had aliens. And once I actually met the queen. And of course, I love taking the transporter back to Earth. It reminded me of Power Rangers. T minus five. Four, three, two, one. Reconstitution in progress. Thank you for visiting Mars 2112. If you have arrived at the wrong era or find yourself with additional body parts, please report to the main desk in the arrival zone. I kind of want one of those things. It looks like fun. Tonight we're going to try John's. Somehow we've never been there and it's a cool looking place. We don't have 
have to worry about leftovers. Mia and I can eat an entire pizza by ourselves if we have to. That's some more. How many pizzerias have you been to that look like this? This had been an abandoned church. So I guess the ceiling windows looking like a pizza is coincidental. This was our good Applebee's that we took Jerry to. Passing the theater again. I'd see Tommy ten more times if I could. Really incredible getting to see it again as an adult. And there's Josh's kid. So crazy. I think this was Friday's. It's Gizmo Duck. Alright, we're gonna see what's in here now. Alright, so it looks like this station also has food. Burger joint. Sauce Pizzeria, ramen. Let's say pastrami queen. It's really nice. Uh, I found desserts. It smells good over here. Fried chicken biscuit sandwiches. I'm not even hungry, but look at these loaded fries. Like you really need to bring an extra stomach with you when you go to New York. These are really tempting. And there's macaroni. And what do you know? Good looking pizza, man. Glad to see work being done on trains and stations. It needed that. I think that lady just paid for the subway by tapping her cell phone. We're living in the future. And now we're going back to the train, heading home. That was a very fun little trip to New York. Hopefully it won't be another four years before we go back. I see they're also building new tunnels and bridges for New Jersey Transit and Amtrak. Again, much needed. Glad to see things finally happening. And I'm gonna end here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed New York. Good night.